Hey guys, I'm coming at you live from the couch in my um, workout room. And yes, I'm representing Pio, and yes, I'm showing off my little bit of rolls. So I wanna kinda take you through a journey of my year and what it's been like. Um, because as you guys all know, I'm a beach body coach. And just so we are completely clear, if anybody still is confused on how this works, you literally, work out, you help other people work out, you help each other find your motivation, and you get a little bit of compensation in return for it. Um, one of the things that a lot of people expect you to be as a coach is completely perfect with your workout, workout regimen and a lot of times with your eating, and that's not why I started. When I started, I wanted to find a more sustainable way to live. I was tired of yo-yoing the same 20 and 30 pounds and I was tired of looking at the scale and seeing a number over 180. Um, so I've lost a lot doing this. I've gained so much more. Not in terms of pounds, like of course I've gained some of those back because everybody yo-yos a few pounds every now and then and especially if you're a girl, flow matters. Like hormones matter. All of it, it plays a huge part in it. So, um, this year has been so rewarding and so gratifying in so many ways, like on a personal level and as far as a beach body business level. When this year started, I knew I needed to incorporate a cardio program because I was starting to, tr yes, I was starting. I was late to the start training for your half marathon game. So in January, I started training for my first half marathon. Mind you, the furthest I had run at that point was a 10K, and that took me over an hour. Um, so the furthest I had done is 10K, and it took me over an hour. I started doing size, which is a dance cardio program, like eight counts, Sean T, he's the boss. I did that and jogged some, so the program that was supposed to take um, 30 days, I ended up stretching that calendar into like two and a half months. Yeah, I'm that good. I even did a few extra days after the half marathon, um, just because I wanted to finally finish that program. I, I was so close. I just need to finish it. And although it took me two and a half times longer than it should have, I got it done and it was amazing. And it started a chain reaction. The fact that I can go from a girl who used to make a game out of how many times can we eat momos and Taco Bell in a week? to making fun of the people who run 5Ks. And I know these people. Like I literally knew the people who were running the 5Ks and didn't walk and I'm like, you guys are absolutely bat crap crazy. Like, no, why does anybody do this for fun? I'm literally running a turkey trot 5K the morning of Thanksgiving so that I can go eat turkey and dressing and not feel guilty later. I'm gonna be sore, but it's completely validating all of the gorging and binging for the food that I'm eating. Yep, that's old me. Um, so fast forward from that a few years to this year, I ran a half K for a pair of shoes, you guys. That was seriously my motivation. I wanted the Cinderella New Balance shoes. And I got there race weekend and was told that they don't sell those shoes anymore. That was a fun time, so much fun. But that's okay because I got this really cool metal holder over here. And I also got a really awesome shirt that says she believed she could, so she did. In all actuality, if the shirt was really being honest, it would say she didn't believe she could, but she did anyway. I, I didn't know if I could do it going in. I knew that I was gonna try my darndest and it was just one foot in front of the other. That's, I said that so much during that race one foot Caitlin for 13.1 miles you guys I did my first half marathon and the only time I walked was when I was drinking water because I didn't want to choke and I did stop for a handstand at the castle so this year size half marathon finished size and then I finally did Brazil butt lift carnival because I wanted to do Brazil butt lift because I really wanted the bum bum shorts and <laughs> I finished it and when I finally got my results submitted to get my free pair of bum bum shorts, they didn't have any more. 
I think I'm noticing a common theme now. I work really hard for these things and then I don't even get to reward myself properly. So that was workout program number two and I had really amazing results. It was 30 days, I lost like several pounds and several inches. After that, I decided to start Shift Shop. That was a 21 day program of absolute nutness because if you know me, you know cardio is not my jam. And Shift Shop is basically alternating days alternating days of cardio and strength training. So the strength, I'm like, mm-hmm, yes, Chris, yes, you're my trainer, you are speaking to my soul. And if you saw my post-it stickies on my Instagram or on my Facebook, that's what that was from. The workouts, I started writing something that he said that I thought was really encouraging that carried me through that workout for the day. And I wrote it on a sticky note and I shared it with you guys because that's what this is about. It's about finding what works for you and finding your motivation and finding your passion and your encouragement and being able to share it with others until they reach their goal. And so then all of that happened um, and it stopped in June. And since then, it's now September, so three months later, I think I've stopped and started about five programs. Yeah, I did really well for the first half of the year and now I'm having a lot of commitment issues. Sorry, the arm is not really comfortable on this couch. Um, but I'm having a lot of commitment issues with the programs right now. And one of my goals for this year is to be able to do a jade pole trick. It's basically an upside down split on the pole. So to do an upside down split, you kind of have to be able to do a right side up split. So needless to say, splits are on my list. So I started Pio and that lasted about two weeks. And then I stopped because I came up with excuses. I started lift four two or three times and my friend Maureen just finished it and she lost um, like eight pounds and like 15 inches. Yeah. If only you would have stuck with it, Caitlin. <laughs> so her and a few other people in our challenge group are really motivating me to reassess some things and I talked to somebody earlier today and earlier this week like we're constantly reevaluating what's working for us and what's not and if we have to find new motivation to do it because the only way to develop discipline is to be motivated by something long enough for it to become a habit so for me I am constantly looking for different ways to motivate me so I'll like theme it for Harry Potter for a little bit theme it like Sailor Moon for a little bit do my little post-it sticky notes. But whenever I started and stopped all of these programs recently, I kept coming back to what are your big goals and why? I'm, I'm basically like at the size that I'm comfortable with. Um, and I'm not trying to lose a whole bunch of weight or a whole bunch of inches. I want to tone up a little bit of what I have. Um, but I don't want to go crazy doing that. Like, I'm not going to follow the meal plan 1,000%. I'm trying to live a balanced lifestyle. That's why I started, remember? I'm trying to go back and develop a habit that works for me for life so I can stop doing that whole yo-yo thing. So I'm still doing my handstands. And as of today, I am re-recommitting to Pio. And what works for me with Shift Shop and Brazil butt lift and everything was I didn't allow myself to move the days around. And I've done that every single time I've done Pio. So this time, I'm going to stick to the calendar. This is day two. Day one is fundamentals, which is kind of like how you do down dog and a lot of the terminology she uses. Um, but I did a different workout yesterday, so we're just gonna start this at day two. And the only time I'm allowed to not do a workout on this program calendar is if I'm going for a jog or I can pick one Brazil butt lift workout. Since that one will not leave my mind, I'm allowed to do one of those two things of cardio once a week. So that way it keeps me interested and if I need a change, I'm allowing myself to have it. Don't box yourself in this thing, like don't trap yourself and say that you're going to spend all of this time and all this energy and you're gonna get it perfect because then as soon as you mess up, a lot of us get discouraged. So don't put yourself in that box. Give yourself a little wiggle room. So this is me, I'm recommitting. I took pictures right now and I just took measurements and I just took a few pictures of moves that I really wanna work on, um, like the down dog split and then the open legged hip one. Crap, freaking A, I forget what it's called and I've done this program so many times. But 
I took a few pictures of those and it's going to be on my Facebook and on my, on my Instagram. So if you want to follow the journey, join me. Like we could always use the extra encouragement. And if you want to join us and get started on your own workout program, just shoot me a message and we can get you started. Our group is really rocking right now and they are really, they're really pushing me and convicting me to like step this up and really focus on what my goals are and go for it. Because if they can lose that many pounds and that many inches and they can fit in these clothes they haven't fit in and they can lose about loop in a week, like about notch in a week, why can't I do an upside down split on the pole? I can. It's just a matter of how hard am I gonna work for it? Every day I have to show up, I have to show out, and I have to get her done. Yes, so I'll be using hashtag Alohamora your potential. Unlock your potential for those of you who are not super Harry Potter nerds. Um, and then one that I really like to use for my business and just for myself, um, my business is Team Be The Change 41. And then live fiercely, live beautifully is kind of like my motto because you should be able to live fiercely and get a lot out of life, but you should also remember to stay beautiful on the inside. It's not just about the outside, guys. Stay strong and stay true to you, and thank you for all of your love and support and encouragement. I love you guys. Thanks so much 